Exploring Ethiopia's Rich Culture and History Identification The name Ethiopia derives from the Greek ethio, meaning burned and pia, meaning face, the land of burned-faced peoples. Aeschylus described Ethiopia as a land far off, a nation of black men. Homer depicted Ethiopians as pious and favored by the gods. These conceptions of Ethiopia were geographically vague. In the late 19th century, Emperor Menlik Itai expanded the country's borders to their present configuration. In March 1896, Italian troops attempted to enter Ethiopia forcibly and were routed by Emperor Menlik and his army. The Battle of Adwa was the only victory of an African army over a European army during the partitioning of Africa which preserved the country's independence. Ethiopia is the only African country never to have been colonized, although an Italian occupation occurred from 1936 to 1941. In addition to the monarchy, whose imperial line can be traced to King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church was a major force in that, in combination with the political system, it fostered nationalism with its geographic center in the highlands. The combination of church and state was an indissoluble alliance that controlled the nation from King Izana's adoption of Christianity in 333 until the overthrow of Hale Selassie in 1974. Location and Geography Ethiopia is the 10th largest country in Africa, covering 439,000 580 square miles, 1,138,512 square kilometers, and is the major constituent of the landmass known as the Horn of Africa. It is bordered on the north and northeast by Eritrea, on the east by Djibouti and Somalia, on the south by Kenya, and on the west and southwest by Sudan. The central plateau, known as the Highlands, is surrounded on three sides by desert with a significantly lower elevation. The plateau is between 6,000 and 10,000 feet above sea level, with the highest peak being Ras Deshen, the fourth tallest mountain in Africa. Addis Ababa is the third highest capital city in the world. Variation in altitude results in dramatic climatic variation. Some peaks in the Simeon Mountains receive periodic snowfall, while the average temperature of the Danakil is 120 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime. The high central plateau is mild, with a mean average temperature of 62 degrees Fahrenheit. The bulk of the rain in the highlands falls in the major rainy season from mid-June to mid-September, with an average of 40 inches of rain during that season. A minor rainy season occurs from February to April. The northeastern provinces of Tigra and Wello are prone to drought, which tends to occur about once every 10 years. The remainder of the year is generally dry. Demography In the year 2000, the population was approximately 61 million, with over 80 different ethnic groups. The Oromo Amhara Antigreens account for more than 75% of the population, or 35%, 30%, and 10% respectively. Smaller ethnic groups include the Somali, Gurij, Afar, Owi, Sidamo, and Beja. The urban population is estimated to be 11% of the total population. The rural lowland population is composed of many nomadic and semi-nomadic peoples. The nomadic peoples seasonally graze livestock, while the semi-nomadic peoples are subsistence farmers. The rural highlands economy is based on agriculture and livestock raising. Linguistic affiliation. There are 86 known indigenous languages in Ethiopia, 82 spoken and four extinct. The vast majority of the languages spoken in the country can be classified within three families of the Afro-Asiatic superlanguage family, the Semitic, Cushitic, and Omotic. Semitic language speakers predominantly live in the highlands in the center and north. 
Cushitic language speakers live in the highlands and lowlands of the south central region, as well as in the north central area. Bomotic speakers live predominantly in the south. The Nilo Saharan super language family accounts for about 2% of the population, and these languages are spoken near the Sudanese border. English is the most widely spoken foreign language and the language in which secondary school and university classes are taught. French is heard occasionally in parts of the country near Djibouti, formerly French Somaliland. Italian can be heard on occasion, particularly among the elderly in the Tiger region. Remnants of the Italian occupation during World War II exist in the capital, such as the use of Shio to say goodbye. Symbolism The monarchy, known as the Solomonic dynasty, has been a prominent national symbol. The imperial flag consists of horizontal stripes of green, gold, and red with a lion in the foreground holding a staff. On the head of the staff is an Ethiopian Orthodox cross, with the imperial flag waving from it. The lion is the Lion of Judah, one of the many imperial titles signifying descent from King Solomon. The cross symbolizes the strength and reliance of the monarchy on the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, the dominant religion for the last 1600 years. Sovereignty and freedom are characteristics and thus symbols of Ethiopia both internally and externally. Many African nation-states such as Ghana, Benin, Senegal, Cameroon and the Congo adopted Ethiopia's colors for their flags when they gained independence from colonial rule. History and Ethnic Relations The Emergence of the Nation Ethiopia was home to some of the earliest hominid populations and possibly the region where Homo erectus evolved and expanded out of Africa to populate Eurasia 1.8 million years ago. The most notable paleoanthropological find in the country was Lucy, a female Australopithecus afarensis discovered in 1974 and referred to as Dingnish. You are marvelous by Ethiopians. This theory of the origin of Ethiopian civilization is being challenged. A new theory states that both sides of the Red Sea were a single cultural unit and that the rise of civilization in the Ethiopian highlands was not a product of diffusion and colonization from southern Arabia, but a cultural exchange in which the people of Ethiopia played a vital and active role. During this time period, waterways such as the Red Sea were virtual highways, resulting in cultural and economic exchange. The Red Sea connected people on both coasts and produced a single cultural unit that included Ethiopia and Yemen, which over time diverged into different cultures. It is only in Ethiopia that Proto-Ethiopian script developed and survives today in Jiz, Tigrin and Amharic.